Well, howdy Easterlingers, hope you're having a good day. Are you ready to paint another zombicide, undead, or alive gunslinger? Well, this is Molly, who's primed in desert yellow from the Army Painter. And we're going to be starting off with a little bit of Soldier Green from the Zombicide Invader paint set. This is a unique color of their paint set. Can't get this in their war paints, only in the Zombicide Invader. Uh, I was thinking it was a little bit more darker green, but it ends up being this very bright green, which is not bad. Uh, she has a beautiful green dress in the artwork uh, and we will put a shader on it later that will darken it down a little bit uh, so don't worry about that and then, again it covers up really well uh, I did have to put a second coat on certain areas uh, so but that's okay because then you don't want to lose any of the details so the the least paint you put on uh, yeah and now we're gonna move on to the next color which will be um, crushed skull this is from the zombieside green horde paint set but I believe this is hemp rope from their uh, war paints range so this is not a unique color uh, I just came in the green horde set that I bought up a couple years ago and again after many years uh, this paint still hasn't dried up still comes out looking really good uh, so we're doing it for the like the wrap around her I guess her big bow there and her um, her sleeves on her vest and as well as the bonnet on her head but there's gonna be another part of the bonnet we're gonna color in later on with another color but this is just to give it a base so it'll be easier to color over later all right, moving on to Ruby Skin now. This is from the Skin Tones. It's a very pinkish color, but she has a very, very pale skin in the artwork. And I thought this one would work almost perfectly. It almost looks like the crushed uh, skull next to it, but no, it has a hint of pink to it. Don't worry about it. Uh, it, it shows up uh, <laughs> off camera. It's a, it's a little harder to tell when you're recording these things. Leather Brown now for her boots. Um, Pretty much the only thing that's going to get some leather brown is the boots. So we couldn't tell in the artwork what color boots she had. So I just went with the leather brown instead. <clears throat> Matte black is next for her hair. So it's underneath that bonnet, but it's a little hard to see. So be careful uh, and just get around the edges there. And that'll be it for the matte black. Moving on to troll claws. Now we're going to do that flower like thing that's in her uh, bonnet. This is why I meant to have that, that crushed skull underneath. It was a lot easier to paint over it with this lighter yellow as well. So that's really cool. Gun metal, of course. We're gonna be using this on that like sawed off shotgun she's holding and the pistol she's holding. Uh, good old six shooter. Um, again, painting, I, a lot of times I don't use like speed paints and that on top of the desert yellow, so that's why I just use this. Military shader. Uh, we're doing this on the entirety of the miniature now and you're gonna see now that, that the green is gonna come a little bit darker, become more of a, a forest green like color, a little bit better, a little bit more what I wanted. Uh, military shader is a great a shader for greens and for even like some light colors like you can see like that that bow and all that it becomes like a dirtyish green color which is what she had in the artwork as well some soft skin wash now just for the face and the hands just give a little bit more depth to that skin and there you have it folks molly the gunslinger is ready to take on the wild west zombies i want to thank you guys for watching i hope you're enjoying these videos hit that like button and if you're new to the channel hit that subscribe button and we'll see you all in the next one